Yo, what's up, my beautiful people? Today, I will be bringing you a status build. Status is king. And this is how you can easily clear legendary missions with a decent group of DPS players. And uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Shout out to my boy, Fryco in the Pog Clan for helping me put this thing together. And yeah, man, I got a lot of tips and tricks coming your way. And I hope you enjoy it once again. Let's get it. All right, yo, so this build is pretty simple. You're basically gonna be the CC of the group. What CC means is crowd control. And uh, you're gonna make sure that the whole group doesn't get either hit by drones and that most of the enemies just stay in their place, right? That way DPS can put their work in and destroy, okay? And get you past these different uh, parts of the mission. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go now. Yo, so this build, it's actually crazy, man. I got a few clears on Legendary yesterday with this build. And once again, man, super sh huge shout out to my boy, Fryco. You could check him out over on uh, Twitter. It's part of our Pog clan. And he's uh, a good guy, man. So basically, here we go. Yo, there goes the basically already. <laughs> Yo, so the goal with this, man, is to have a super long uh, duration. Almost matching your cooldown, right? And... Right here, I have one second cooldown. Let me know what type of cooldown you guys could get when you're done with this build. But yes, so the two skills you wanna use are gonna be Firefly, right? And you're gonna use this blinder for every single part of the mission except for the bottom garage, all right? On District Union. If you guys don't know about the bottom garage, the bottom garage is a room that has a bunch of drone ladies spamming and grenaders spamming, all right? And in that situation, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use the Demolisher, okay? What, what happens right here when you use this, it destroys the enemy weak points. Skills, proxies, and environmental explosions. So they cannot use their skills on you, all right? So they can't use no drones. They can't use nothing, all right? So this is definitely the best in that one room. But other than that, I would highly suggest you sticking to blinder all right because it's just gonna apply the blind status to a target and they're gonna be uh unable to function at full combat effectiveness they're still gonna shoot you sometimes boom i'm gonna go ahead and overcharge and then i'm gonna mark all these targets you gotta mark them so don't forget that boom they're all gonna be marked and now we're just chilling and basically we're cc'd everybody we could use this again and we're just chilling they can't do nothing to me and we're just you know chatting i hope you guys on youtube love this and uh, make this build asap man so make sure you're still playing cautious right and our second skill of choice is going to be a emp post and this jammer right here this jammer post disables hostile electronics okay like killing the drones midair and keeping them from using any drones for a few seconds you know at least and also with this, you want to have a nice cooldown and uh, duration, right? So our duration on our cooldown is the cooldown is 14 seconds and the duration is 13. So one second in between is all it's going to take you to uh, cast that next skill, right? I'm rocking this everlasting gaze, but it's up to you what you want to rock, right? Uh, perfect perpetuation headshot grants 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply okay and i uh tried just normal uh perpetuation and it was still giving me 50 uh the cooldown is the difference okay from 20 to 16 so regular perpetuation will work perfect perpetuation will be a few seconds uh quicker to spam right sweet dreams this monster is a is a beast a lord I don't know what to tell you, man. Sweet dreams, you could kill, instantly melee kill any uh, non-ED enemies. So any red or purple enemies, any normal or veteran enemies are fucking dead, bros. All right, so here, we're rocking the Acosta bag, man. All right, so I highly suggest the Acosta bag for this. I was kind of skeptical at first, but uh, the more I played with it and the more I used it, the more I really liked the stuff that this book bag has to offer okay 
and 10 percent status effect is beautiful all right this is beautiful part of the backpack and the most important part is one one in hand all right damaging an enemy with a grenade grants plus one skill tier okay so if you're already at level six is gonna grant you overcharge okay for 15 seconds and when you're overcharged your skills are overcharged okay and these skills when they're overcharged they're absolutely redonkulous all right so normally you have 210 speed so the thing will just zoom 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 make everybody blind and 120 percent blind duration which is going to be uh giving us that one second cooldown right but right here you're at 200 percent duration and 250 percent speed so you'll basically already have your next uh your next thing when you're overcharged man and you could probably even spam it and then you get a max of 10 targets which is four more targets so you can cc the whole room no excuses all right no excuses i don't want no excuses from my players okay all right here we have 60 percent radius 60 percent effect i've covered this in previous videos but when you're overcharged you go up to 150 radius 90 percent more super insane i'm happy to see everybody that are the homies using this and definitely keep on uh rocking with it banshee is a good alternative especially if you're rocking a uh, night watcher but for this build we have it set up a specific way that the homie uh kind of put me up on game Fryco. and yeah man so 100 percent charge speed 100 percent uh, effect duration all right enough of the skills if you have any more questions about anything like when i'm covering it and i might not cover it all the way just ask me in the comments below and if I can't get the answer for you, I'll, I'll try to make sure I figure it out, right? All right, so the way we built this, man, we built this very specific and uh, very different, okay, to, to the homies needs. I was using a skill duration personally. So just know that skill duration doesn't apply to effect duration. So, you know, that's the status effect, okay? So here we're gonna rock two wyvern and that's going to be for status effect okay the skill damage i'm not too worried about but uh status effect is where it's at you do do some skill damage with emp so you know it's not bad to have skill damage but if you could try to get like status effect over uh skill damage and skill haste okay so status effect or skill damage and skill haste as you can see this mask is gnarly and i like it a lot right it's really good row and uh, here I have my second uh, Wyvern piece, once again, with status effect and skill haste. That's my preferred options with this build, just to get that uh, time to match my duration and my uh, actual effect. Okay, so after the two piece for status effect, basically, we're gonna go here for some skill haste to give us that uh, cooldown. And then status effect once again and skill haste. As you can see, I have beautiful roles. I play a lot usually i play a uh, solo so if you want come over to twitch and we can hang out sometimes right here is an improvised holster okay and like why you wouldn't use another holster is simple because this will give you extra uh skill haste okay you could roll skill haste here and it, you'll have extra 10 percent skill haste because you could get a mod in this holster all right as you can see even though i have some other holsters that are really nice this holster is the best just because I could get a, a mod slot in it. And if you don't already have it or you don't know how to get this, you want to come on over here to your recalibration station and go down to your holster. And if you have like a majority of the holsters or all the holsters, you'll have it right here at the bottom. And you just uh, craft it simply until you get a, uh, a skill roll on it, right? So I would uh, suggest getting a status effect on it and then uh, rolling... You know what I mean? Uh, skill haste, right? And then a, a tier mod, right? Until you get it, just do that. And then uh, that's basically five of the build. And the last part would be uh, status effect, the new golem gear. And this gear always comes with a blue. So what I did was I was going to farm targeted chest loot, but I was suggested to farm golem loot, okay? The reason we're farming golem loot is because you could get like, any piece and it might be exactly what you need right but i kept it onto the chest now we're gonna go over uh, the chest right so you want to try to get status effect and a skill haste right here instead of these attributes that'll be your best bet and then skill haste as the mod right as always and then mad bomber is the talent that i'm using right now and i don't mind using this talent until uh, later because i wrote skill tier 
like once again they always come with a core blue attribute and you want to make that a yellow right you want to run six yellows all right so right here mad bomber grenade radius has increased by 50 percent and you really notice that when when you're running this uh this talent right it was really helpful for cc which is basically what this build is this build right here is amazing crowd control okay and it is being slept on you know and a lot of people probably don't know about this but i want to bring it to to light so you guys can go ahead and make this and get this in your group all right with this build i suggest three dps and one status you want those dps to be really good players you can check out our rifle builds over on twitch or the lmg build depending if you don't want to use the rifle and the the, the cheese that's happening right now but um you gain 15 percent bonus armor while aiming grenades all right so you're already supposed to throw the grenades and, and hold the cc and that's why we're running survivalist okay so we'll go break down survivalist real quick just in case you don't know and uh, i want to mention some other talents after this though right so survivalist right here it's beautiful because the incendi incendiary grenade applies burn to the targets within the radius and since you have 50 percent bigger radius it's a huge area that you cover with this crowd control and it's amazing right so we got uh right here we got 10 percent protection from elites which you which is gonna help you like stay alive armor kits repair five percent over seconds instead of instantly but also apply to group members within 20 meters and 20 meters is hella far okay while in cover you gain 10 percent skill haste so try to remember to keep uh cover and group members get 10 percent bonus damage to targets with status effects so since you're running a status effect build this is absolutely the best like tree you can run dudes without a doubt without a doubt all right Killing enemies under status effects add three to the ammo bar, except from signature weapons. So, bro, like, like survivalist hands down is the best for this build. Like, no doubt, without without a doubt in my mind. All right, we'll look at a few more talents. There's like two or three more uh, chest talents that you might want to uh, use, right? All right. So, I personally was thinking about explosive delivery because you get a uh, whenever you throw a skill 1.5 seconds after landing it creates an explosion damaging enemies within five meters right and the damage was scale so we would do a hundred percent damage of a concussion grenade another thing that was suggested to me by the homie fry was overwatch and after staying in cover for 10 seconds increase you and your allies total weapon and skill damage by 12 percent as long as you remain in cover or in a cover to cover move unbreakable is another great option because uh when your armor is depleted it repairs your armor i personally thought trauma would be kind of interesting especially since i'm running status effect right and applying a bleed to an enemy hit in the head every 30 seconds and you can apply a bleed to the chest apply a blind to the head excuse me and a bleed to the chest every 30 seconds if you just shoot them with trauma so that's something i'm thinking about trying so this would be kind of appealing to if you were like to use your uh med kit and get a hundred percent more bonus maybe it would work for your allies i'm not too sure but uh, efficient might be a good talent at the end of the day whenever you're choosing these talent it's all preference and uh what you like personally and what fits with your uh, synergizes with your play style and your group right all right so if you don't have the acosta backpack what i did was i went with uh the hana backpack and what i had here was status effect and skill haste of course and then opportunistic because i was going to use a shotgun right and i was going to damage enemies with the shoddy and they could take a 10 percent damage from all sources so it's amplified damage too and uh that works really good in my opinion but uh you could use this set however you want you can mix and match them however you want but that's just how i would play it right and uh yeah just remember skill duration doesn't affect how long the effect of the skill is only the actual skill itself and with that i think i've covered everything and i made this build the best i could i worked on this last night it wasn't too hard especially with targeted loot and especially since i'm a hoarder i save a lot of my pieces that i feel are good or might be good in the future and this is the result i'm able to throw these type of builds together in a few uh minutes to an hour or so and yeah if you guys have any opinions leave them in the comments below uh make sure you follow the twitch we'll be live later 
And thank you again, man, for real, for supporting my channel, my videos. And uh, stay blessed, everybody. Salute.